Okay, so here's another, uh, this is the 990. I believe the 990s come in a mini style one, which is about half the size. And um, this is like the, and they've got one more size bigger than this. I don't know if it's also considered a 990 or not. But this one here has had some sort of overheating problem. And if we check the fan, we can see that this fan right here needs to be lubed. I usually use the old-fashioned style, just clean it up, blow it out, rather than compressed air, conserve energy, you know. So now, I need to take this fan out and see if I can lube it, bring it back to life. And I'm also going to take, try and take this off, see if there's a bunch of dust in there. Okay, back to the 990. So, this fan... I'm not sure if I can do anything with it. It's a little bit better than it was. What I used was like a drop of this and a couple drops of that. And I filled this back, sprayed it in that hole basically. You can see it's probably a little bit of overkill there, but uh, I don't know. Might work if we're lucky. It's a little bit looser. Uh, not much, but a little bit. And then here, the main CPU looks pretty good this, this cooler here looks really good uh, not much dust uh, accumulated on that I guess after a while I figured out how to make these things push the dust out of the whole system um, and that's good and so yeah this one this is the 900 and I'm not sure how much RAM it's got looks like these are 2 gigs it's four gigs of RAM right there and so we just put it back together and uh, this has already got the RAM and the hard drive so this one's pretty much ready to go theoretically if this fan will come back to life okay so this one I finally got it back together I plugged it in basically it would come on and shut off basically it would come on for like a minute and then shut off and this is the one with the solid state drive and I'm thinking it's going to be the power supply and this fan actually I replaced that fan with another one I had for parts or this other one for parts and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the power supply out of this one put it in that one and see what happens okay so it will come on and shut off you can see the fan just start up again we got the light on the back That video card could possibly be a problem. It's actually staying on pretty long now. Knock wood. Um, so, this one actually might fly. Is it staying on now? Probably the best, easiest way to do it is to pull the RAM and see if you hear it uh, beep. If it doesn't beep and you've got the RAM pulled, then it's the motherboard, basically. I'm not sure what the switch here has to do with it, but it may have something to do with it. It is running now. I'm going to leave it running for a little while, trying to find another cord for this monitor, see if I can hook this monitor up. Okay, so this one I actually had to replace replace the whole thing. It's it's the motherboard. I put some RAM. This one here didn't have any RAM. Um, I you know I just got a couple of spares here, and so uh, I swapped this. This one here I got whatever salvage yard, and the old one had a bad motherboard. I'm pretty sure because I used the same old video card. So this is uh, doing a loop boot or something. So it's got it's got some it still has some problem. It seems like. Okay, there it is. Wow. Okay, well now I'm gonna have to crack the password with a password cracker program. Maybe. Yeah. So this is the boss's computer. Uh oh. 
Oh, it's gonna be a hard password for me to guess. Uh, one plus one equals two. Two plus two minus one equals two. Ah, I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, what does it say? Uh, it says uh, when you think the tiger, you can try what? When you think tiger, you may think snow, but big cat is natural altitude tiger. March 20th, it's got the right date, 1.50 p.m. Okay, so I'm going to build this one back. I'm going to build this one up, put some more RAM in it, clean it out, do the same thing I did with that other one with the bad motherboard. And uh, this one should be good. Good to go.